Good morning guys, happy Saturday, happy January 19th. I don't know if anybody caught that I said June in the last video, um, but if you didn't go back and watch it because I was like, can't believe I watched it, edited it, and didn't realize it until I uploaded it that I said June, but that was like, oh my god, anyway. I don't know if you guys can see that I'm not technically sitting on a brown couch, even though this blanket over here is brown. But, Raymore finally came through. Your girl got her new furniture. I'm going to show you guys, even though the living room isn't technically complete, I am so excited. And it was such a mission yesterday. Honestly, when I knew I was getting the furniture yesterday, I was like, oh, I'm definitely going to film. I'll start the weekend vlog on Friday. And it was a whole like shit show like honestly my body aches but shout out to my parents who always come through for me my dad is the best like he was out there lifting the furniture with me you know helping me take the old furniture out helping me bring the new furniture in because I thought it would be a good idea to pick up the furniture it was just it was a mess but it worked out so well so I'm going to show you guys the living room right now in the robe, but not even cute. Yeah, I'm gonna show y'all because I'm just, I'm so excited. Oh my God. My living room looks so different, y'all. I can't, I had to turn on all the lights because it's still a little gloomy out. It's so early, by the way. Um, but ignore all this. This is just like Nathaniel's area. We're going to get like the cover for this couch just to like maintain its longevity. We weren't as nice to the other couch when it came to him, but this is so cute. Um, you know what? Let me set it up so you guys can see how it's going to look. Okay. So this is what the couch looks like. Those two Navy pillows didn't come with it. I'm just playing around with some throw pillows I have in the house, but it's just like a nice gray. And it has these like studs over here, but they kind of like blend in with the color of the couch, which I love. It's not too bright, and I don't feel like I have to have silver things in here. And then these are the accent chairs. Those two pillows actually did come with the couch, but I like them on the accent chairs. So we'll see. And this one also has some studs, and it's silver, but I like that it brightens up over here. And then it's tufted on the back. And these are so comfy. Like, honestly, we were sitting on them yesterday, feeling everything out. And that basket's not going to be there. But, you know, I'm going to put a little spin on it. And then we have two ottomans coming that I'm going to put over there where we can rest our feet where we're sitting, when we are sitting over there. But it looks so good. So, more, so, much, so much more spacious without the huge sectional there. And then of course we might get a rug. Like we have some things we have to take care of. Things are gonna be leaving. New things are gonna be coming, but it looks so good. So I'm up early cause I'm going to Target. Um, today is my cousin's baby shower, her first baby, baby Ella. She will be here next month. So today is the baby shower. It's actually at one of my favorite places. So I need to head to Target, get a gift. Um, I also need to get a book. She's doing the, you know, bring a book instead of a card, which is the best idea. A little baby library is the best thing you can give a child. Like, that just opens up their, like, imagination, and it just, like, it goes a long way. So we're going to be doing that, and then um, I'm going to come home. I'm going to get ready. The baby shower actually starts at noon, which is why I'm up so early. So I can go to Target, do my stuff, come home and get ready. So you guys will be getting ready with me. Um, I am going to bring the camera to the baby shower, but I'm not going to film. I might do like a slow montage maybe of like the decorations and how it looks. But I really want to be in the moment at the baby shower and not really focusing on vlogging. So that's what we're going to do. I just want to stop in, say good morning. I am so excited. I know you guys have been listening to me talk about my furniture since Vlogmas. So it is a good feeling to finally have it in. It was definitely sad letting the couch go we had that couch for five years y'all like and we have slept on it we've had family on it nathaniel i mean the, the old couch you know used to have like a chase and he just loved it and adored it I'm a Okay. 
Okay, so the baby shower gift is nice and wrapped. Um, I can't wait to tell you guys the story behind this. And now we are just in the walk-in, <laughs> getting ready. All right, so I am done. I will give you guys a better look at my makeup and better lighting. But for the outfit, ugh, I just have on this cute, like, mauve colored sweater from Charlotte Russe. I have on, oh, stop. I have on my black um, Rockstar jeans from Old Navy, and these thigh highs are from Call It Spring. And I think it's just like a cute baby shower look. I wish the color would pick up on... So it picks up better in this lighting. You just can't see the whole thing, but it's like a purpley pink mauve color. And it's cute. And so this is... I have no good lighting for this makeup, but it's like a purpley pink on the lid, smoked out with a brown, and then velvet teddy on the lips. So we're on our way. I'll take a couple clips in there, but I'm going to try to be in the moment and in the baby shower. But yeah, the makeup came out good. Hey guys, good morning, happy Sunday, um, happy January 20th. I can't believe we're like almost through the first month of the new year. That's nuts So, So yesterday I got a couple clips of the baby shower and bottomless bellinis were the end of me. <laughs> so the baby shower was awesome. I did the bottle sucking contest, which I won. Um, but they had it filled with mimosas um, just for future people water juice because i think that just like took it to the edge because you're basically racing against other people to finish what's in the bottle so maybe alcoholic beverages isn't a good idea but we had so much fun the baby shower was beautiful my cousin was glowing and just being with family was awesome um and then we came home i took like a four hour nap <laughs> and then we woke up we ate we watched all the fights all the way up to pacquiao and broner and then I went to bed and I think I had to like stay up and play video games and whatnot. But today is just an easy Sunday. I have been up for a few hours. I went to Target and Aldi with my sister. I'll show you guys a couple of bits that I picked up while I was out. We just had breakfast and now we're going to do laundry, clean the house. Today is a big day. The Patriots are going to be playing Kansas City and then it'll determine who goes to the Super Bowl. So yeah, we're a little bit on edge in this Patriot household, but we're confident. We're just, you know just a big day um what else and we're gonna be cleaning doing laundry and stuff let me show you guys so my aunt was like you know we're a competitive family and she was so happy that I won the contest so she fist bumped me broke my nail and actually I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it broke my actual nail so now I'll have to take the rest of my fake nails off and just heal this one until I can do my nails again so I'm going to be looking pretty bummy for the next few weeks. But let me show you guys what I got. And then I am going to get cleaning, get my day, not get my day going, but keep it rolling. It's already started. So the first thing I want to show you guys is this cute lantern that I picked up at Aldi. And it was only like, I think like $9, $9 or $10. And it's such a cute like lantern. And Shout out to my sister Lou, because she picked the color, because I was going to be basic and just get black. But I really love it, and it's like actual glass. And then this was part of the prize from the bottle sucking contest. I think it looks so cute in between there. I might add some more like trinkets and stuff over there, but I want to work slowly. But I want to show you guys that I got at Target, other than like regular stuff for the house, is this cute t-shirt that says Dog Mom. I couldn't resist and it was 25% off um, 
graphic tees and sweatshirts so I just picked that right on up I got an extra large so it can be nice and loose and comfy and the material is so soft honestly Target you take all my money look oh, look at this little guy let me fix your blanket let me fix your blanket yeah so I was also worried if Knight was even gonna like the new couch because we used to have a huge chase over here and that was like his thing like where he would lay but he actually likes it really nice and you give this guy a blanket and he will lay anywhere hey you gonna get a bath today big boy so cute always representing all right guys so it's literally been five hours but laundry is done house is clean I washed my hair. I did the um, hair mask, which I'll show you guys. I did a different one than last week. I put some hair cream and I just put my hair in a towel to just get it out of the way. But the hair mask that, oh, but the hair mask that I used this week is from Aussie. It's the Miracle um, Curls, and they do have that three-minute one that I use in the shower sometimes. But this one was a nourishing hair mask, and I was really drawn to the coconut and jojoba oil, and of course, free of sulfates, parabens, and dyes. Um, so far so good. My hair feels amazing. This thing smelled so good. And it was like a dollar a dollar forty nine at Target, but I got it for a dollar twenty six. I guess it was on sale. Let's get in the kitchen. I did um wash the meat in the water and vinegar and then I seasoned the steak. So now I'm gonna figure out if I'm gonna fry it on the pan or maybe make it in a pot. I don't know. So I used this steak seasoning right here, which I'm pretty sure is just like salt, pepper, like all this other stuff, but it's delicious. Of course, my Himalayan sea salt. Oh, pink salt. I'm sure. I'm sorry. Um, black pepper, and I always throw parsley on everything. I don't know. That's just what I do. And now I think I'm gonna. Now I think I'm going to throw the steak in the pot with maybe like some beans, onions, and sweet potatoes. I've been really loving sweet potatoes, so let's get that started now. If I could, I would insert a sniff button right here so you guys can smell that goodness. But I'm going to let it sit for like a couple more minutes. I really want the potatoes, the sweet potatoes co to cook fully through. They can be a little bit, a little bit more rough than um, regular potatoes, but mm, so good. Up. Oh my it's god, my chest was so tight. It really did shut down this Kansas City offense. Then they figured him out. Let me see the score. And then it was on Brady late in this game. Edelman with some big time catches. And those two guys, they respect each other. Ooh, those are two angle. great coaches. Andy Reid has to wait another year. Gronkowski had a big game. Maybe the whole year. I think this was the best he's played. You know, in the passing game, everyone says, I mean, he came up with the biggest plays at the biggest time. Yeah. And he's blocked incredibly at a high level in the last month of this season and for really most of his career. You ready for all the storylines to start? Woo. I'm ready. Yeah, it's going to be the next two weeks you're going to hear all about it. New England. Super Bowl. The likes of Sean McVay and Bill Belichick, Woo. the youngest head gets everything. I mean, overtime on the road against a great team. They had no fight, they had no quit. Oh. A long one, every season has challenges, but this one seemed to have more the underdog mentality going into this one. What's it mean, after all that, to head back to the Super Bowl? I first want to say hi to my wife. I love you so much. I'm coming home, mom, dad at home, my sisters, all my family. Thanks for your love and support. And all our fans back home. Yes! Where to go, man? What a year. What was your question? Just what it yeah, means to go back to Super Bowl after everything. Unbelievable, bro. <laughs> Oh, I never, I mean, this is crazy. What a game. Tom, congratulations. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Yes. 
all right guys so i'm gonna end the vlog here um it was a great weekend it ended on a high note we're so excited super bowl two weeks Whew. it'll be another little heart attack but i think we will get through it so um if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a beat and i'll see you guys next weekend bye